Today's paper is Barlow Twins, Self-Supervised Learning via Redundancy Reduction. The proposed method is a simple self-supervised method that trains joint embedding architectures. The authors introduces an objective function that measures the cross-correlation matrix between the outputs from two identical networks. The training of the proposed architecture does not require large batch sizes nor a symmetry between the network twins. The Barlow twins outperforms other previously proposed methods on ImageNet semi-supervised classification tasks with low data regime. The figure shows the overall architecture of the Barlow twins. First, there are two identical networks. This is represented in the figure as F. To these networks, a batch of image is taken and two different transformations are applied. These transformations are sampled from the data augmentation techniques used in the training procedure. The input image, denoted as X, is applied a transformation T. These two images, applied different transformation, is represented as Y superscript A, Y superscript B. After these images are forwarded to the network, each network produces now a vector representation Z. The dimension of ZA and ZB in the figure is the same. And using these two representation vectors, an empirical cross-correlation matrix is formed. Now, the objective is to make this cross-correlation matrix as an identity matrix. The loss function denoted in the figure as L subscript BT is shown in the right side. Um, this is composed of two terms. First, the invariance term is in charge of making the diagonals of the square matrix to ones, and the redundancy reduction term is in charge of making other non-diagonal values to zero. The invariance term forces the diagonal values to become one, and this makes the representation invariant to the distortion supplied to the input image. On the other hand, the redundancy term forces non-diagonal values to become zeros, and this decorrelates different vector components of the representation. Authors state that this decorrelation reduces the redundancy between output units to let the units contain non-redundant information about the sample. And the CIJ in the lower equation shows the calculation of each element in the cross-correlation matrix. Small letter b here indices batch samples and ij are the indices of the z vector. The model uses ResNet50 architecture as a backbone and first trains the network on ImageNet 2012 dataset. Once pre-training stage finishes, the authors test the network on other tasks such as image classification and object detection. In this presentation, we are just going to look into the classification accuracy and some semi-supervised learning results in ImageNet. The table on the left shows the performance of the Barlow twins on ImageNet classification task. Well, the model does not achieve state-of-the-art result, but the performance of the model is comparable to other methods. The performance of the network is also tested using a small number of training samples. On the semi-supervised task, the model is pre-trained on a subset of ImageNet dataset, and this is shown in the table on the right. When using only 1% of the training data, the performance is slightly better than the previous state-of-the-art methods. And when using 10% of the data, the performance is on par with the competing methods. Link to the paper and some useful resources will be provided in the description. That's all for today, and I'll see you next time with a new paper.